People in Indiana County are cleaning up after Thursday's heavy rain. The storms dumped more than four inches of rainfall in just a couple of hours. And one man died in a drowning incident in a pond. Lisa Washington has more on what happened. Just debris and, and bridges out and uh, roads closed. The water is so deep in places you would never expect that you just couldn't even drive through. Drew Kimmel says what's normally a 15 minute drive home from Indiana took him more than four hours Thursday afternoon. I was in Indiana and left about 4.30 to get home and could not get home till about 8.30 last night. I had to travel uh, a lot of miles around and still never found a way uh, to get through every place I went was flooded. Indiana and Armstrong counties received at least four inches of rain Thursday and what the National Weather Service calls training storms when repeated areas of rain move over the same region in a relatively short time. We're in the Shalaka section of Indiana County. Take a look now at this nearby creek. You can see the water here is still moving quite swiftly. And look at all of the debris swept here by the fast moving water. You can see lots of garbage. There's plastic bags and bottles, barrels, buckets, and the damage goes across the highway here. You can see some of the shrubbery on its side and what appears to be part of a car or a truck. Residents were clearing their driveways and yards while PennDOT workers were inspecting bridges on Highway 422 and Anthony Run Road. Drivers were forced to take detours. The Indiana County Coroner confirmed the death of 30 year old Justin McCoy, saying he drowned when he was trapped in an overflow pipe in a pond. McCoy was cleaning debris from the pipe. Drew Kimmel says this isn't the first time he's seen this amount of flooding, but this storm was different. Years ago, we had a flood similar to this, but uh, this came just so rapidly that people weren't, it, it, it was just unexpected. Some of the water has receded, though the forecast calls for more rain. Lisa Washington, KDKA TV News.